Hello, welcome to the 412. This is our lovely living room. And uh, me and my roommate, who's number three on the team, Alyssa Shuliance, we live here and I guess first we'll introduce <laughs> Tito. This is Tito, not cooperating, a little bit camera shy. He, uh, he's a little guy we found off Craig's list. I gave him a good home and uh, he's maybe like 10 weeks old. But he's a little carpet rug, we call him, because his hair just kind of goes everywhere. Him and Wilson are buds. But uh, you can tell we have a lot of furniture. This is a, a gecko named Monty. <laughs> I've had him since middle school. One of my best friends got him for me, and he just kind of hangs out in his tank all day. And honestly, I don't know if he's a boy or a girl. Wilson's actually kind of scared of him. Come here, Wilson. Yeah, he's kind of not sure what he is, but he's a miniature Australian Shepherd, but he's probably a standard size because he grew too big, but he, we like to say he's smart, but he just kind of hangs out with the kitten, Monty in the tank, take him for walks, everybody at Ahern knows him, always take him in the locker room. If I need to go somewhere, everybody on the team volunteers to take him, so he's kind of like the team dog, but yeah, so that's just kind of the rundown of the 412 and all the critters that live here, but. Thanks for coming. Since I'm a venture, I've been able to go to three football games, and then this is my first like ever basketball event here. It's so different. Like I obviously want to be on the student section side. But it's just a different atmosphere just being over here rather than like with my family. It's really cool to come out and support the other athletes because we see them at our games too. And it's awesome we get to come here and see Peyton play. I've never seen her play basketball yet, so that's cool. I think Peyton coming from like such a small town in Kansas and being able to come to uh, Big 12 Division I school to be able to play two sports is insane. Like I'm so proud of her and she's a stud. I played both sports all throughout high school, and then I just had kept playing too all throughout. She definitely doesn't let it show if fatigue is a problem for her. She always comes into every practice with a great attitude. She's just a hard worker, and she's never going to let anyone know uh, how she's tired. Obviously, you know, if you ask her about it, she's going to be honest with you, but she never lets it show on the court. And She's just always ready to do whatever the team needs. If I didn't do the things that Emily and uh, Becca tell me to do, it would, yeah, it would just trash your body, I'm sure, because it's a lot of running, lots of jumping. There's two of everything from us. You know, she's got two separate coaching staff. She's got two athletic trainers. She has two strength and conditioning coaches. Two academic advisors. From every perspective, she's got to communicate uh, with a lot of people. So one, Peyton's very good about it. And two, those, those people, particularly the director of operations for both sports and the athletic trainers, are very in tune to what Peyton's demands are every day. We have to constantly work hard to communicate about what she's allowed to do, what she should do, when we've got to cut her loose. She's like a captain on both teams. She plays both basketball and volleyball and then puts an extra time on top of that to be a great leader. And she gets really good grades. I really don't know how she does it. Every moment of the day she's doing something that matters. And she's like been a great role model for our team this year. She's uh, played a lot. She's had to sit a few games and she's always had a great attitude for us. So she's just been doing it all. We need everyone to buy in more and have that energy and excitement and like love for the game like we had earlier this season. And I think everyone really bought in. Everyone kind of just stepped up their intensity and their commitment to the game and it showed. I loved watching them play last night. Felt like a genuine team effort. Because sometimes you just want to get out of their way and let them go and I felt like last night was one of those times. Haney does a hundred little things that make her a good player. I kind of started off the match a little bit nervous, like trying to feel out the other team. Then as the match kind of got going, I felt like I started to kind of produce more and kind of be more of an asset for our team. She's savvy, she's smart, she's creative. Her volleyball IQ is really hot. So I was so proud she got the opportunity to play that game and she capitalized on it and she played great. Devin dug it and I was like transitioning out and I was like, okay, like, 
I could end it here, like I can get it. So then I went up and hit it and it just went off her hands into like the perfect spot where they had one hole. Like, the whole place stood up, everyone was going wild. Hey, I just want to say it was more than winning, but it was the way that you played together. It was the joy that you could feel, you know? It was everybody kind of doing their part. Good dig by Devin Fairfield from a hard Ashley Fritcher attack. Over the net, Baylor can't return it, and Kansas State wins over Baylor. Kansas State with a second straight top 25 victory. We like ice cream. Ice cream's our thing. So if we win, basically we all just start chanting ice cream on the bus, and then usually the bus stops and we get ice cream. So <laughs> that's pretty much, that's our go-to post-game ritual. We're here at Brahms. <laughs> yeah. We just won. How does it feel, cats?